Hey y'all. Um, okay. Remember uh the last time I was on here, I was telling y'all about um what happened between me and my coworker or whatever. How she tried me. Are y'all like my nails? Cute, right? Okay, so let me just get right into this. Okay. If y'all wanna know, if y'all wanna know what happened. It's a part one, you know. I'm not really on here, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. Okay, my coworker tried me. Um she had me fucked up. But um the conclusion of this is she went um let me see we had two days off. The two days off. Was she having a barbecue or something? Anywho, um if y'all hear kids, it's kids. I'm at this park, it's kids over there. It's summertime. But um we had two days off. And on the day we had to go back to work, um, my boss called me and he was like, I want to hear your side of the story. So I told him my side of the story or whatever. And he was like, he sounds like um, y'all had a miscommunication. I'm like on who part? Miscommunication on who part? Or whatever. It this been so long ago. This was like a month ago. But I still didn't understand what he mean miscommunication. Whatever. Anywho. So I say we we went back to work. We didn't say nothing to each other. None of that. Like from about No. I didn't say that to her at all. But she tried talking to me. Like it when it's fresh, when you just get into it with somebody is fresh. Don't try to talk to me because I'm gonna be hella rude to you. Like it's still fresh. Like stay, keep saying my name. Like we could be, like I said, we could be cordial. We can, we can coexist when it comes to work. Anything else? Like my pen. This is what I'm talking about. Example. My pen was like acting up. Like I don't know if I got one of them pens in here. I don't think I got one of them pens. But you know, it's like the pen, a pen that like on the top of not the top but like on the side it clicks open this particular pen kept it just it's cheap it was a dollar store pen but whatever it kept clicking off on its own while i'm writing so i was getting irritated and then she was like calling my name but me you know blocking her out the somebody was like sheree didn't you hear her calling you and I'm like, what? She said, you need a pen? No, I need a fucking pen. I'm good. I don't give a fuck. Like, if it does not have nothing to... Don't try to be nice to me. It's still fresh. Like, I don't like stuff like that. But then, like, um... I want to say, okay... We didn't... You know, if it's not about work, and a couple of days go by. You know, I'm still not fucking with the bitch. Like... Girl, go about your business, like. But it's like we work together every fucking day. This is my thing. Like we work together every day. Like, who want to keep holding that tension? You know what I'm saying? Every single fucking day. Like, like. I'm like, let me let this shit go because, like, I'm the type of person like. I'm not about to keep holding this shit in. Like, that is it's uncomfortable. You know, it makes the situation uncomfortable. Though we're not going to be friends, but we are co-workers. You know what I'm saying? So, I just let that shit go. And, you know, oh, my time. Started talking back to her or whatever. So, she was like, um, what she say? Oh, I missed the whole part. So, remember, she wrote an email and she tried to get my friend and me, in, you know, in trouble or whatever. So, my friend 
she came and talked to her or whatever. And my my friend come to me talking about, I feel like y'all should talk. Talk about what? What were you talk about? This is when like this is like the next day or whatever. Talk about what? And then I think it was the day after that. I don't know. It was around that time when I was like, fuck that bitch. So she was like, yeah, I was talking to her and she told me her side and she was like, um, she felt like I took it too far. I may have, but you y'all gonna do this and come at me sideways. I feel like that's a threat. Like you ready to fight all this. Oh, oh. Oh. Took my nail out. I don't, I don't do that. I don't take that shit lightly. But yeah, um, she gonna stay. Um, my, my friend was like, you should talk to her. And then she was like, no, no, no. Because I'm gonna let her have her moment. <laughs> yeah. Moment. Moment. I don't want to sound cocky when I say this, but I don't need a moment. You needed a moment. You came at me. I am the moment. You wanted to give me a moment. So let me give you a moment. I gave her a moment. I gave her her moment. I don't need a moment, but I am the moment. You started with me. Period. Anywho. But like I said... That's old. That's the I did it it or whatever. So when I started talking to her, that whenever I felt like talking to her, she was like, "Yeah, um, I was waiting on you to calm down. I was waiting on you to calm down because I wanted to have a conversation with you. She that type of female. Like when she get into it with people, she want to come and cl in a closed space and get them, you know, backed up in a corner and to apologize. I don't want to hear that shit. I feel like. I still ain't got that. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's on my time. I'm talking to her because I want to. Because I chose to. Or whatever. So, I mean, it's it's all good. Like, we never, we never had that one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's just, it is what it is. I'm just put it like that. That's all it is. It is what it is. Like, I bet she know not to try me again. And I don't want to sound like that, but I just don't take disrespect lightly. Like, and I don't think nobody should. Like, don't ever let nobody try you like that. Like, all this and all that. You keep going to keep running your mouth, keep trying me, and we at work. Girl. I ain't that much money in the world. I'm telling y'all if I ain't had no kids. I took that badge off and slapped her with it. Like, seriously. Like, she tried me not one, not two, not three. Too many times. Ain't nobody got time for that. We grown as hell. I can, bitch, we can, on our break, go on break at the same time. I meet you at the ballpark. We can fight it out, come back to work. We ain't got to lose no money. Like, period. Like, I'm just, I'm over it, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm over it. Like I like, like she said, she gave me a moment. <laughs> Sorry, not let me stop. But no, I'm over it, y'all. That's the conclusion. It is what it is. That's a it's that's the type of situation. It, it is it is what it is. Like I don't need that tension network or that stress. I got enough fat. I ain't trying to get fatter. You see this neck? It's ridiculous. I need to lose weight. But anywho. I just wanted to get y'all to Oh, let me show y'all my shoes before I go. So, my sisters said they look like Jesus shoes with, with a uh, name brand logo on them. I got me some uh, Nike sandals. I got them from Shoe Carnival. And... Some Adidas sandals as well. Kind of cute little outfit to go with them. You know, you gotta do something for yourself sometimes. I never really do nothing for myself. I always put my family 
my daughter or my son or something. Excuse me, I got two sons. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a conclusion, you know. And if I make a new another video, <laughs> then I'll come back. But yeah. Until next time, y'all. Peace.